What's going on guys, Steve with the video for you today. So today is gonna to be another PC video, but you know, I've been kind of spinning the ideas of, you know, I love to give facts and just kind of like what I enjoy about the cards when I show them to you guys. But I also uh, think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show like one or two cards during my PC videos like this, you know, not all the time, maybe sometimes of uh, either autograph cards or maybe like a random football card that I really enjoy or a, like a Husker card like I did last time. Um, it seems like, you know, I don't use up too much time doing it. So, you know, what's 10 seconds showing you guys a card of a football card, but, uh, yeah, I do get in, I do tap into autographs. I'm not huge into it, but I do enjoy them. And here you can see, here's the Bill Pierce. So yeah, let's get into the cards here. Here is the 1954 Red Man Chew of Bill Pierce. So Bill Pierce is a left-handed pitcher with 211, 211 career wins a 3.27 ERA, a seven-time All-Star. It sadly passed away in the year 2015, but here is a Bill Pierce autograph card. Yeah, I don't know. I think that'd be fun doing, you know, a random football card or an autograph card like that. Going on to the 1957 Topps Jim Bunning rookie card. So Jim Bunning had 224 career wins, a 3.27 ERA, 2,855 strikeouts, and he was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1996. I know he got into the polit political world after baseball. Yeah, here's the 1957 Topps Bunning. Um, I think I'll talk a little bit more about that, because yeah, I know I've got more cards of his sitting in the boxes. Going on to the 1960 Topps Ernie Banks card. Ernie Banks, nicknamed Mr. Cub. He had a 274 career batting average, 2,583 hits, 512 home runs, 1,636 RBIs. And he, you know, one of my favorite all-time players. And I think I'll start showing the Ernie Banks cards again. Um, I know that on my last channel, I did a uh, ultimate showcase of Ernie Banks. Here is the all-star card in 1960 tops of Ernie Banks. I really like these all-star cards. You know, they have those fun facts back there with that fun picture. So there is Ernie Banks going on to the 1967 Topps Frank Robinson card. Frank Robinson had a 294 career batting average, 2,943 career hits, 1,812 RBIs, a 14-time all-star inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1982. You can see it's a little off-centered left to right, but... Still a nice looking card. Going on to the Say Hey Kid, here's Willie Mays. Um, this is the 1968 tops of it. Then Willie Mays had a three, 302 career batting average, 3,283 hits, 660 home runs, and 1,903 RBIs. 338 stolen bases, a 24-time All-Star inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1979. But just a monster of a player, and, you know, some people put him down as the greatest of all time. I would not argue that at all. Going on to the 1982 Donneris of Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell had a 282 career batting average, 2,232 career hits, 475 home runs, 1,540 RBIs, and ducked in the Hall of Fame in 1988. I absolutely love this Donruss Willie Stargell card. And the old school Pirates hat and uniform. Going on to the 1984 Tops Alan Trammell card. So Alan Trammell, a 285 career batting average, 185 home runs, 2,365 hits, 1,003 RBIs, and ducked in the Hall of Fame in 2018. Going on to some of my favorite cards, the Diamond Kings. Here is the 1990 Donruss Diamond King of Steve Sachs. So Steve Sachs had a 281 career batting average, a five-time All-Star, and he won the Silver Slugger, Slugger Award in 1986. Love those Diamond Kings. Steve Sachs, gotta love them too. Going on to the 1992 Derek Jeter, Jack Murphy's Stadium Club rookie card. You know, Jeter... Um, one of the all-time favorite Yankees for the fans out there. And uh, a little bit about Jeter. He had a 310 career batting average, 3,465 hits, 260 home runs, 
1,311 RBIs, a 14-time All-Star, and inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2020. Just a monster of a player, beautiful looking card. Glad to have this one in the PC. Going on to a Minnesota Twins fan favorite, here's Justin Murnau. This is the 2001 traded. So Justin Murnau, uh, 281 career batting average, 247 home runs, and won the American League MVP in 2006. Retired now. I know he had a year out there in Colorado. Uh, maybe a couple other places, I don't recall. Going on to the 2007 up, Tops update of Tim Lincecum. Nicknamed the Freak and, you know, Lincecum, he was... You know, he was lights out in his career when he was going, but he only had about four or five prime years, and uh, he had 110 career wins and a four-time All-Star, and I think he's retired now. I haven't really heard his name pop up. Moving on to the 2019, this is like a Brooklyn, um, what do they call it, like a Brooklyn design of tops? This is Austin Riley, you know, just a hot young prospect for the Atlanta Braves. This is his rookie card. Going on to the 2020 Tops Inception of Nico Horner. Uh, you know, the Cubby shortstop. Just a quick little fact about him. He's still a prospect. Was he was the first player from his draft of the class of 2018 to be promoted to the major leagues. So there is the Nico Horner Inception. And we will end this video with uh, Luis Robert Robert. This is the 2020 The Man Tops Finest. And again, another prospect for the Chicago White Sox. So thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, I think I'm going to do those autographs or the football card every, every so often in the PC videos. So thanks for watching.